And even with the struggling economy, Western Iowa Tech Community College is adding to its campus. WIT dedicated today the Dr. Robert Dunker Student Center. Dr. Dunker has been with the college, he's been the president there for 21 years. And KMAG 14's Olivia Wilmson is live in the studio to talk about the new facility in honor of the soon-to-be retired president. Olivia? Michelle, this man has been working with college students and faculty for more than 40 years, and now that WIT has a place to get fit and well, it has people only thinking bigger and better things for the future. With a record-breaking attendance last year under its belt, WIT Community College continues to expand the school. A fully equipped student center will be an added bonus this fall. Last year, um, I wasn't really able to exercise and go to the gym because having trying to have a four point and working almost full time makes it really difficult to find time to exercise. Christy Coley is a nursing student and recently diagnosed with celiac disease. Until now, she didn't have time to stay in shape. Now my gym is here, so in between classes I can stop and I can go work out and go to the gym and go back to class or go to my job afterwards. That's all thanks to 600 donors and one special man. Obviously it's very humbling to have the board put your name on a building, and I'm very grateful for that, uh, but this is all about Western Iowa Tech being the best place to start. Dunker helped the college blossom quite a bit in his 21 years at WIT. We've developed this from a technical institute to a comprehensive community college, transfer programs, arts and sciences. With more than 600 donations, WIT even has an aerobics room now. I just think that it's going to encourage you know, more people to come to, to college here and, and to love it here like we do. The Student Center is another piece in the puzzle. The tennis looks very, very strong for this fall as well, you know, and that's part of serving students. It's our job to anticipate what students want and what they need and provide a quality education at an economical price. And what a way to cross the finish line. You always want to end your career going to, on a high spot, and this is a high spot in my career. The Student Center should have its final touches done in about two weeks. And Olivia, now that Dr. Dunker is retiring, what does he plan to do with all that free time? Well, Michelle, he says he plans on spending lots of time with his wife and his grandson. Lots of fishing, too. That sounds like a wonderful plan. Thank you very much, Olivia.